Swedish muffins from scratch. Y'all know that. Got recipes on my channel this morning and got these English muffins for the kiddos. So that's what we're going to work on today is getting them toasted up in this Ram Joy toaster. If y'all are looking for a new toaster, I will link this in my Amazon storefront down in this video's description. Alright, this morning we're having blue. world famous French toast. World famous French toast. I think we're gonna put some, offer the kids some cream cheese and some blueberry sauce, and it's gonna be like cream cheese, French toast, if they want that. We got a whole stack of it back there. We make it with our homemade bread. We haven't been eating a lot of bread, so when I make the bread, the kids might have like a slice with butter, and then we always end up making the rest of it in French toast because we just aren't really bready people these days. Good farm fresh eggs, nice and yellow. Good breakfast. Blueberries and cream cheese, goodness. This is a really easy pantry meal. I have some dehydrate or some freeze dried celery and I just broke it up into tiny pieces. And then put two cans of chicken on top. I'm trying to go through some of our pantry stores. I stocked up on canned chicken over the last two years or so. And so now we're just gonna use some Dijon mustard. This is gonna be a quick lunch and we're gonna put them on these hamburger buns that Aaron picked up from the store the other day. When he went by, I'm gonna throw some of this Primal Kitchen mayonnaise on here for the kids. Easy, easy lunch for the kids. Chicken salad sandwich, carrots and ranch. We made the ranch with um, Greek yogurt and uh the ranch buttermilk ranch seasoning mix from azure standard and so we make our own homemade Mommy. ranch it's been a few weeks since i've made my homemade loaf of bread so we're going to start out with some fresh milled hard white wheat berries and we're going to get those ground up into a nice fine powder and you can sift the bran out if you prefer I'm not going to do that today, but we're going to start out with one and two thirds cup water in our bread machine bowl. And we're going to add two tablespoons of oil, four tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Then we're going to add a quarter to half a cup of oatmeal, or you can use the nine grain blend. That's what I'm using here today. Then we're gonna add in our four cups of fresh milled flour, and then we're gonna put this on the basic wheat dough setting. Then I also whipped up two different batches of marshmallows, and those turned out really good. I All right, I had to do a second batch. You wanna make sure you dissolve your gelatin in warm water first, so this second batch turned out a lot better. They, they both look pretty good. What's on your mouth? Did Annika give you a taste? I'm going to keep these marshmallows stored in my refrigerator, but I'm going to dust them with a coating of corn powder or cornstarch mixed with powdered sugar, and that's going to keep them nice and separate. And then I will cut these into squares and we're going to store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator. And then we've been using these every single day in our hot winter beverages. They make like a frothy foam on top of your drink that is really delicious. It's almost like the cream foam that you can get put on your coffee at Starbucks. I'm not sure what it's called, but maybe some of you down in the comments know what I'm talking about. But these marshmallows dissolve into a cream foam, a crema, on top of your hot drink. And it is really yummy. I'm going to link for you guys how to make marshmallows down below in this video's description if you want to give it a try. Just a few simple ingredients and they are easy to whip up super fast. Tonight is sweet potato or baked potato night. The girls had sweet potatoes. The boys are having um, just baked potatoes with some homemade ranch. Uh, we like this Redmond's real salt, seasoned salt, and it's just an easy dinner. Lots of butter. This morning I had a chiropractor appointment and Aaron just texted me, we're going to go to his retirement gift ceremony. He says it's not 
an official retirement ceremony <laughs> told them he doesn't want a retirement ceremony, which I'm bummed about because I would have loved to, for him to have a proper military retirement ceremony. Um, that would have meant a lot to me and the children. So we'll just have to see what the day entails. I am gonna go into Fred Meyer's real quick and grab some bananas and some pork rinds, all the essentials, and then head back home and get ready. Maybe dress a little bit nicer. It's a rainy day. I mean, look at it. It's a nasty, nasty day. So, you know, a good day for a celebration. We're celebrating Aaron's retirement. Hey, Dad, is that Southwest? How was it? How's it feel to be retired? Really good. One of these days we're gonna get paid. Maybe. Something. Something. And things will be a lot better. We got the kids burgers because we're gonna go pick up our real meat from the butcher. So we're gonna go pick up a quarter cow and we got the kids cheeseburgers from McDonald's. Hey, everything in moderation. Somebody's gonna go off. <laughs> Survival mode. <laughs> both Thorsten, <Spirit> fingers. <laughs> both Thorsten and Bodie. <laughs> you guys are doing you guys, the same thing. Hey, do you guys have fun at the retirement thing? Yeah. What, what do you think about my shadow board? It's oh, insane, isn't I it? Can. Can I see? Can I see? Oh. Hold on, Bodie. Bodie, you got the hiccups bad, bro. Yeah. You're growing like crazy. You're gonna be too big for the cars. I just wanted to share like how beautiful this area is. It's just, it's really pretty. The sky is no longer storming. The sky is opened up. All right, we've made it back from Aaron's retirement ceremony and from all the festivities of the day. We also managed to go by the butcher and pick up all of our hamburger meat, which Aaron was running out the door for an appointment. So. We quickly put that in the freezer, but it was two large boxes of meat. I had placed the order for two pound burgers and packages of meat for seven people, like roasts and things like that, which is still gonna work out fine, uh, but I just, I'm not gonna be eating a lot of this beef. And I also got a bunch of tallow. Um, I am gonna be attempting to cook the beef and stew it for longer and boil it. I've read that people with pancreatitis and recurring pancreatitis uh, do well with boiled meats, like long boiled meats. And I mean, you're basically boiling all the fat off of it, right? And tenderizing it so your body has an easier time to digest it. So we're gonna try that. Um, but right now I'm not eating any red meat. I had elk and eggs one day and it sent me into a pancreatitis attack and I don't wanna go down that road again. So for right now I'm resting my pancreas. I'm mostly plant-based. I have chicken or salmon one or two times a week, but I'm doing lentils and mung beans and all sorts of things like that with my diet and plants, <laughs> fruits and vegetables and things like that. What we're trying to do now is figure this out, figure out the new diet. Um, but I'm happy I haven't had pancreas pain in about five or six days, but we'll, we'll get it all figured out. In the meantime, I'm going to show you guys what I got today and some of the ideas for what we're going to cook this week. It's going to be a taco week. We're going to make lots of tacos. So mostly a produce haul complete with Aaron's pork rinds, a little bit of dairy. Uh, let's start back here. I was requested to make some Muddy Buddies, the Muddy Buddies. So we got Chex Mix to make Muddy Buddies for the kids. We've got this big bag of roasted salted pistachios. This 32 ounce bag was on sale for $10.99. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It was one of those you scan the price tag and then you get a discount on your Fred Meyers app. So I did that. It wasn't on my shopping list today, but I thought this would be a special treat for the family. We found these sour cream um, on sale, normally $2.49. They were $1.05, so I bought three. Was maybe I should have gotten more. But I stopped at three, left some for the other folks. Down here, two bunches of green onions. We're gonna use those for our tacos. Uh, they had this cheese on sale. This is a 32 ounce. Oh, how, I wanna say it was 
I think it was $6.99 for two, two pounds of cheese. And then I got this one also. I do want to make the kids a big old pot of mac and cheese. And then we've been doing lots of uh, cracker boards, cheese and crackers. I do buy cheese from Azure. We've been getting the uh, mozzarella from there. And I also get cheddar from there, but we ran out. We have mozzarella right now, but I wanted some cheddar for Christmas until my next Azure order comes in. Five pounds of these adorbs five pound bag of those those will be gone in like the next day the kids love those one big gigantic look at the leaves on that gigantic leafy bunch of cilantro to make salsa three huge bunches of bananas we use those in everything pancakes and smoothie they've been on bananas a lot lately so we always buy three big bunches three organic lemons i mean four four organic limes i've got a couple ideas i want to make some like lemon cello lemon drink where you do, or a lime drink where you do lime and sweetened condensed milk, but I have sweetened condensed coconut milk. And I think that would be really good with coconut milk and a lo frozen lime and make like a, some kind of like sweet lime drink. I think that would be really good. Two jalapenos. These are for the salsa as well as the tomatoes. We're going to make some salsa. I fine shred up the cabbage and i need to get back on sauerkraut y'all know if you want to search sauerkraut on my channel lots of videos will come up for homemade sauerkraut s-a-u-e-r-k-r-a-u-t and i'll put a link in the description of one of my videos i've been making that the last six years i've been on youtube and it took the last two years off so check out my earlier videos because there's all kinds of gold goodness food in there my diet has changed so much over the years as i try to pursue health and it shows in all of my videos. We got these Guerrero tortillas. Uh, I have a tortilla press that Carol gave me, one of the subscribers, and she is a dear friend now of my family's. And she gave us a tortilla press, but I'm still taking it easy on my feet. So I went ahead and bought already made tortillas for this week. And I'm getting back to cooking and I'm having a little bit more energy these days. So I'm back in the kitchen a little bit more. We've been doing baked potatoes in the Instant Pot. We've got some lettuce here for, I'm going to make some salads. Pretty simple salads, probably Tex-Mex style Southwest salad or maybe some taco salad would be really good since we're doing taco week. And then four bags of the pork rinds. These were on sale. Got those for Aaron. Um, so that's my whole order. And let me find my receipt again. Jeez, I always and that's it. it. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and my family today um, for picking up the meat and Aaron's retirement ceremony was awesome. It was really emotional. I didn't film anything, but also we were in the moment and I didn't really want to film, but I was hopeful that we would get some pictures and we got at least one picture. So I'll insert it right here. This was Aaron's retirement ceremony. We weren't, he wasn't in uniform. He wasn't, <laughs> he's retired. Clint Hester made him the most amazing shadow box and we're gonna put it on the wall right here beside this elk. If it'll fit, it's a huge, beautiful, I'll put the picture in. And then they also gave us a picture of the jet that Aaron worked on while um, here stationed at Kingsley. So, bittersweet day, it's over. Um, it's officially over. Aaron's military career is officially over and we are still navigating the transition from military life to civilian life and that comes with a lot of ups and downs and navigation and sorting through paperwork paperwork and talking to lots of people and getting insurance and VA stuff and the list goes on and on and on appointments oh my goodness we are just non-stop over here I was at the chiropractor this morning and Aaron called and said can we go on base and I was like for his retirement ceremony and I was said oh short notice but it wouldn't be our life any other way. We weren't expecting to be running around town all day today, but that's what we did. And one of these days, I promise it's going to slow down and we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to reminisce about the last 17 and a half years of his career and our last 13 years together as a married couple and our whole life together that we've known each other. Um, so eventually we'll sit down and reminisce and I'd love, love to share that with you all. And I'd love to share the process of his medical retirement and everything that we've gone through the last three years. Um, maybe there will be a time when we're ready to talk about all of this and answer questions if there are any and how we're 40 years old and retired. And this is our life now, homeschooling our kids and raising our family together. This is our life, full-time family. It's crazy, I never thought this day would come. If you told me a year ago we'd be here today, I wouldn't have believed you. 
but we're here and we came out the other side and everything's looking up. Half a gallon of stashies. I'm thinking about making some potato and bean tacos for the kids. I'm gonna mash up some beans. Right now I've got some onions wilted in my skillet. And then I'm just gonna go in Woo! with some potatoes. I got another potato to cut up. Hagen's making a Caesar salad. So they're gonna have salad, potatoes, and maybe some beans. Keep it easy. There's my bread. <laughs> We've been making French toast and stuff with the bread. Mm -hmm. the wrong way. This is a fresh milled, 100% fresh milled loaf, and mine always sink in a little bit unless I add all-purpose flour to it. This is the Redmond's Real Salt. Y'all see me make, we've been making lots of potatoes because we were given lots of potatoes. There we go. So we're gonna mash up some pinto beans and put them on some tortillas. Oh, look at those beautiful beans. Look at that. Beautiful beans. So we're gonna mash these up and put them on uh, tortillas. All right, once your potatoes start getting some nice golden bits on them with the onions and the frying up, I added some butter in there for the kids. We're just taking our potato masher to our beans, frying these up a bit. I'll show you what that looks like. <laughs> yep, I'll get you the little vacuum. You wanna you wanna vacuum and clean up? Oh watch your head. You wanna vacuum with Hagen? Yeah. I think we can do that. You got it. Oh no, don't turn it on yet. Save the battery for when you get close to Hagen. Okay. All right, to make homemade sloppy joes, I used about four tablespoons of potato, uh, tomato paste to a pound of beef and some paprika sprinkled in there, like a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, or a teaspoon of onion, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, about a tablespoon of yellow mustard and about three or four tablespoons of tomato ketchup. I also did some blackstrap molasses along with some sugar. I need to get more sugar in there, running out. Uh, and some Redmond's real salt and pepper. It turned out really good. I think that's how Aaron makes it similar. He, I think he used brown sugar, but we made the brown sugar with molasses and sugar. That's how you make brown sugar. We're gonna put this on some buns for the kids and I gotta figure out some other stuff. They've been eating fruit all day, so they might just have sloppy joes for dinner. All right, we are gonna make this delicious lime and coconut drink. And to start, you need two limes peeled. We're gonna throw those in our high-speed blender, along with about two cups of water and get that blended up real smooth. We're gonna strain this out and then add it back to the blender. Into the mixture, we are gonna add one can of coconut cream. Then we're gonna add one can of condensed coconut milk. Then we're gonna add a splash of agave and get this blended up into a smooth consistency. Pour it into a cup and enjoy. It is so refreshing. Thin, 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 thin potatoes. Super thin. 
transparent. Dramatic effects. Of course, we use Redmond's Real Salt, but they're getting nice and golden with the caramelized purple onions. They taste delicious. These are going into the air fryer. Oops. Lemon pepper, olive oil. And this is that amazing beef that we just got from a, a local farm. So I cook up fish and beef because I can't eat beef and Aaron prefers beef. And so I cook up the fish for myself and whatever kids want it. And then whoever wants beef will have the beef dish, whatever we choose for the night, whatever that is. Dinner's gonna be pretty simple for the kids. They're just gonna have gravy, potatoes, and some cooked um, broccoli. I gotta get that broccoli going, but I'm just gonna put coat this meat in butter, make a roux with some all-purpose flour, get that mixed in there, and let that cook for a few minutes. Then we'll add some water to it. Water to it, or maybe we'll add some broth. Might add some broth. So we're just making this gravy up. Hamburger gravy. I know it looks probably not like the most amazing thing ever, but it tastes pretty good and it's gonna get the job done. All right, the salmon's all cooked, looks amazing. Potatoes are in their dish, they look amazing. We put the gravy on some homemade bread and then we had the potatoes and then the broccoli. I'm all yeah. all my food. Yep. You can do it. And we've got some leftovers for another meal. Or at least for a few people to have a meal. There's three, two and a half pieces of salmon, about three servings of potatoes. You know, good enough. And I will see you guys in the next poll. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.